Welcome to Off Grid Victory. So today I wanted to show you my newest install in my uh, container housing. And that is uh, with a little bit of excess noise, uh, the breakfast that we're making on top of this stove. Now the stove is uh, run on propane. It was modified by me from natural gas to propane. And of course we're cooking uh, some stuff here. Um, some fritters, leftover fried rice, uh, we have some turkey sausage there. Uh, but the main thing about this stove, which um, is run both by um, our uh, off-grid electrical system, as well as if I need to run for a long time, like the oven, I'll run it off of a generator. Um, but the most important thing about cooking inside of a small space, a confined space, is this guy. Now, I haven't done all the cabinetry work, but I wanted to show you this guy. It's a hood. It's one of the cheapest um, uh, Brown stainless steel hoods. It only has one central fan unit right there. But that fan unit vents directly outside. And I don't know if you can see some of the, 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 the gases and the, and the steam here coming off the... Uh, the um, the stove here but anyway it's doing a great job of sucking all of that out so I'm going to take you outside to show you uh, what it looks like from there okay so here's a look from the outside of that uh, kitchen hood vent now it is right here and you can see um, it's blowing fairly hot here uh, I'm right outside of it it's directly venting from that vent directly to the outside and uh, you know ultimately I'll have a roof line uh, on top of this to shield it a little bit better but for now I got a bunch of um, silicone in there and that that that's doing the trick and so yeah I mean a vent is very important you absolutely need it in a uh, confined space like a shipping container to cook food you don't want all those smells all over the place not that this is our primary um, uh, sleeping unit in fact we we are sleeping in it now just because we have the heat and everything, but ultimately we're going to use another shipping container to sleep in. This will be mostly a, a, a kitchen, bathroom, living room kind of playroom area. But still, I don't want all those uh, food smells, the oils, the gases, blah, 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 to be retained in, in the container. So having a fan like this uh, and a vent that directly goes out is super important. So I would highly recommend that um, to get that done. And of course, uh, yeah, here's my shipping container. There's some other exterior vents like that guy, which uh, is for the um, hot water heater. And uh, that's to vent the carbon monoxide and the other combustibles. But at any rate, yeah, there's some stuff sticking out of this container. <laughs> and the main one sticking out, obviously, is this, the, uh, the stove pipe here that's going, as you can see. But yeah, uh, venting your shipping container, very, very important. And of course, in the end, I will put a uh, roof on here just to catch the water and everything else and, and, um, and keep uh, some of the other elements off all of these vent areas that are coming off the side of the, um, the shipping container. But that's it. Oh, last thing. Then this is the propane tank that's powering that uh, stove inside. Alrighty, righty. Shalom.